excited as we finally have full month. I'm excited to finally see this out here in, in, in the Madden Bowl. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you tuned in to the Madden Club Championship, you saw this mode. This is the full month mode, so there are no roster restrictions. There's no cap, nothing like that. It is the full ultimate team squad, so you're also going to see players from the past, the present, all on the field at the same time. And already spamming buttons in a third and long. Yeah, and what do they say about spamming buttons? He loves to spam quick base. First two plays of the game, he comes out, he quick hikes uh, the quick base run. Now he's going to try to hit him with a play action, but nothing doing. That's going to be Henry. Let's get it, bro. Let's go. Yeah, and win. how about spamming buttons? A lot of choices at quarterback right now. He's rocking that Dak yeah, Prescott that. item at QB. So you, yeah. yeah, it's an interesting choice. You know, we don't see it too much. The thing with spamming buttons is he wants to establish the run. He's more of a runner. His passing is not going to be too advanced. He's going to run some of the basic concepts. But it can be effective when you mix it in with the high-powered uh, high run offense that he does have. <laughs> oh, I tell you, they're playing our last game. Straight lasers. I'll be tweeting at Wesley to let him know that was Vos dealing those punt dots. You see here, Henry going to be on offense. You know Henry loves to run bunch. I'd expect him to mix in a little bunch tight end as well. Spamming buttons, setting up his audibles out of the nickel 335 formation. And there you see it. Henry comes out in the gun bunch tight end. But he might be able to audible down. He subbed in a running back here, which we can do now in Madden 21 with the personnel audibling. So look for Henry to mix it up this year. He's not just a strictly a passer this year. He prefers to pass, but he will be a little bit more balanced than in years past. Trying to get Maurice Jones Drew going is Henry. And this is certainly the side of the ball where Henry feels the most confident. He's one of the most prolific offensive players, one of the youngest players. He is qualified for every single Madden live event that he's been eligible to compete in. Yeah, and it's crazy. He's so young, but the way he plays, he never gets nervous. He plays like he's a seasoned veteran, like he's been around for a while. He's out there slinging it. He's going to play his style. He doesn't really care what anyone thinks. Scott. The slinger for the former Southern Miss Golden Eagle, Brett Favre at quarterback. Throws this one away. It'll be a third and ten. Yeah, that was good defense right there by Spamman. Went with man coverage, but he had some of those curl flats. You see him there. He's coming out in nickel 335, but he's audible into the 335 wide formation and getting those linebackers out there in the curl flats. Favre back to pass on third and ten. Really good defense from Spamman Buttons. Oh what a There's user. There's nowhere to pass. Does he got a bounce? A Is that going to be completed? Bruce no. can't make the catch. I was waiting for him to get open because he was like, right. Wow, that was a great yeah, user by Spamming Buttons. Henry was going to have RB coming back, and Spamming Buttons clicked onto his D tackle to take that away. Impressive user. And then Henry takes a chance, but nothing doing. Terry Kill with the oh, return of the punt to the eight yard line. A reminder, guys, at halftime of this game, we'll have those three mutt item giveaways. 99 overall Reggie Bush, that 99 overall Adrian Peterson, that 99 overall Deion Sanders, all from that NFL draft program. And at the end of the night, one lucky winner will win all three of those items in a dump truck giveaway. Back up his base. Like I said, I should take this one. All right, for the first time, Spam Button's got positive yards on a run. Yeah, and you see, he, he's gone to this run four out of five plays in his offense so far. He loves to run the, the base, and he's going with a Scream lot of that. quick snapping. Scream that. Pressure, Henry. Ooh. Pressure. Pressure. Some pressure. Fortunate animation there to keep Prescott out of the end zone. Another three and out for Spam and Buttons. Great defense by Henry, and you know, I haven't seen too much of Spam and Buttons play this year, but now I know he really lives up to his nickname. He's coming out here spamming A to quick hike as fast as possible. They had Jack Fox last time. Good return right for there. Henry to midfield. Disappoints. Interesting, different dynamics. You hear Wesley, he's really in constant communication with Henry. Spamming buttons with Vos and Pop, and there's not a whole lot of talking on that side. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. I know that the guys want to let each other play. I get that. But I, but Pop and knowing Henry so well, I think as the game goes on, we'll hear him a little bit more here telling him some things. But I know the guys want to let each other play. Good defense. Once again, the user from Spam and Buttons taking away the pass downfield. 
Looks like he's blocking the defense again. I think he put a cloud on the left. You hear, Nothing you hear Vos trying to chime in right now, saying he's blocking his running back. Yeah, Wesley right telling him to put a flat out there. So now the guys are starting to communicate here. I don't know if you keep that. I call timeout if I read this in play. Perfect defense. Yes, yes. Really good defense once again. Ty, when we're hearing Wesley say things like, or, or Pop, and when we hear them talking about a flat, a, a deep blue, what are these guys talking about? Yeah, so there's different zone adjustments you can make on the field. So most of these right. guys, especially in Madden 21, are going to be running primarily man defense. But you want to add out, add extra things, extra zones out there to make it a diverse coverage. So they're going to add in some hard flats to cover underneath, maybe some curl flats to cover the sidelines back more, some deep zones to cover the deep middle. So they're really making adjustments on the fly here. Third and 17. For Team Henry, and Henry, the captain. And he's hit as he throws, he'll throw this one away. Let's bring in the third member of our crew, one great user. User, you were questioned, you were critical of the choice of spamming buttons coming onto the field. I'm impressed with how his defense has played containing a player as powerful as Henry. I mean, Nick, you just gonna steal the words right out of my mouth as soon as I hop up in here? Of course, me and you both impressed. Listen, spamming buttons is out here showing phenomenal defense against somebody like Henry. Henry, Henry is usually an offensive guru, explosive high power. And somehow spamming buttons is over here just locking them up. To be honest, he's making Henry look like a mere mortal. I, I maybe had Henry too high up on the list. If somehow spamming buttons can produce some offense, I could be wrong and Pavin could be looking like Einstein out here. Well, and user, before we let you go, I'm curious, as, as, the, as the lone ratings adjuster who came up with every rating on his own, and that's the fact. True. What rating would you give these guys as teammates right now in this one-on-one -on -one matchup? Because we mentioned yesterday, we saw Team Prodigy. There wasn't a whole lot of communication in this one-on-one -on -one game. You know, I, I, I have to say that communication is pretty good. I'll say they're at the threshold. They're at 90. They're at the threshold. Okay. It's not, nothing too much, nothing extra. You know what I'm saying? It isn't like K-Mac. I still like, you know, some guys to give you that moral support. Look at spamming buttons right here getting his first first down. Okay. Listen. I, but I'll say they're at the threshold. Both teams, they're really doing a good job of communicating, not saying too much, keeping everybody even keel. But you know me, I like somebody to spice it up. Like, uh, by the way, a combined negative 19 yards of offense right now. It is tough to move the ball. Appreciate you for hopping go. in, Thank you. We'll take it. giving the insight. Back on the He's starting to pick him up. Let's get that here, though. Straight. Second and nine for spamming buttons. Play action. You got it. Look for that crosser downfield. Does he have him, sir? Wow. Didn't get in foul. I feel like Vose is about to make some calls about these crossing routes not getting completed. <laughs> I know. We've seen a lot of them be incomplete today. And the spamming buttons, though, he's going with the same two to three plays over and over. He's either running the base, he goes with the PA counter, go quick snap. Right there, he went with curl flat. So I think Henry's starting to get a feel now for what he wants to do. I can try that clear. I believe you know if that works in month. Uh, I haven't played someone that's playing defense like him, but if it if you want to try it, your bunch has to be on the right. Oh, if you're gonna punch, if you're gonna punch straight down the middle, you can just leave the stock fade on the left. Whenever you like, if you want to try call there right, from the spam there. buttons to it works in, that it works in down regs the every time. I don't know how often I've seen him. He's like the only person I've seen him play defense. Wesley trying to make a read on what defense Spam and Buttons has out here. Certainly a unique player. Looking for that route bounce, and he has him late. That's MJD. Maurice Jones through, picks up 28. Yeah, that was a big play there, Henry, but I do like the strategy that Spam and Buttons is doing. He's playing a bend but don't break. He's playing all coverage. He's he's making Henry work for everything, but Henry being the prolific passer that he is, he waited, waited, and threw a laser deep down the field to the running back. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Vernon Davis, Isaac Bruce, Andre Johnson, the wide receivers, George Kittle at tight end. Here comes the pressure. Oh, spamming buttons, dialing up the heat and gets an intentional grounding. 
What a timely dial-up right there. Like I said, Spam has been playing coverage, coverage, coverage. All of a sudden, he makes it look the same, but the pressure comes off the edge and gets home. I don't know how bad I want to try deep in, but he's just so bad. That... Just watch your safety. Watch your safety. I mean, if you want to burn one, you can. It's up if to you though. came down all the way on the line that yeah. way. Yeah, well, he's not getting any jobs. And you see, look at that, that Brett Favre, orange <laughs> fatigue. So, and Henry's forced to use a timeout. Yeah, and you heard Wesley say it's okay to burn one. So giving him a little positive reinforcement, it's okay to use that timeout, and Henry does just that. I like the contains. Mm-hmm. I wanna cross from this one lead. The center for us too. Great defense. Perfect. Three-man rush. Yeah, that's fun. Andre Johnson. So interesting what we're seeing here, TD. Oh, yeah, the no, initial no. routes aren't open, but once those routes start no. bouncing after the initial route is done, that's where Henry's finding some success. Yeah, it's really a chess match going on right now. Spamman's doing a great job taking away these routes. You saw the user was all over the slant, but Henry's pocket presence is the key right now. He's just waiting, 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 and then he Honestly, and then someone uh, bounces off the outside, and then he throws a nice little laser. One try right here, but um, with a motion crossover. Yeah, he's enjoying it. Far. Well covered. Ooh, on the run, inaccurate. So a penalty for not setting his feet. Fourth and seven, and the defenses continue standing tall. Yeah, Wesley was telling him maybe go with the motion post, motion crosser to the other side. Henry did that. He motioned over the post. But Spamman Buttons, once again, playing phenomenal defense. I'm very impressed. Okay, not 11. I can throw five threes. I'm going to go into the number. Minute 50 to go in the first half. No one able to get anything going on offense. First nice real run there. At Alvin Kamara picks up 11. Goes right back to that quick base. He's going to go a little tempo. Look for the quick base again here. Let's go! And a big cutback! And there goes Kamara! Can he get out of here? Alvin Kamara down to the 20, down to the 17 yard line. Big run for Spam and Bunt. Halfback base, halfback base, and more halfback base. He finally breaks one out. You see, Team Pavin is fired up now. Let's go! Can't stop it. It's like Novocaine. Give it time and it'll work. Cuts back oh, with yes. Camara. Right. It's Derek time. Derek time. I like Derek it now, man. Derek time. Yeah. You're reading him. You're reading him. So this time he went with inside zone. So no more base. And now you hear Vos calling out, it's Derek time. He's talking about the big dog. He's saying, give it to Derek Henry to punch it in. Remember, Team Henry with the one nothing lead in the series, and King Henry yeah. trying to give him a 6 nothing lead, fight for it, but can't get there. Down to the one, timeout taken by Team Pavin and Spam and Buttons. That's the line, you see why Vos wanted it, though. Derrick Henry just fighting, falling forward, and he's down to the one, and Honestly, you got to expect this is going to be Derrick Henry again here on the one-yard line. run, flip, sneak, so you can come out and stock sneak. Go, go back on conservative. Are you on conservative? Yeah. I mean, that, let him do him, but if you want to go that route, go on conservative. Well, I'm just saying, this is like a guaranteed one, so come out stock and then flip snap. He didn't come Going out. to the goal line formation, just a yard out. Going to the QB sneak, it is yeah. stuffed. Ty, that QB sneak, a real dice roll. Right here. Yeah, so Vose was calling out the sneak, saying it should work, but it didn't. It got blown up. Henry was prepared for it. I think right here is going back to Derrick Henry on an inside zone or a base. Can Derrick Henry make Team Henry pay? He stuffed at the one again! Decision time for Spam and Buttons! I mean, uh, I don't think I'll go for this. We haven't taken three. I would go on Ag if you're gonna go for it, but I mean, it's your call. It's your call. Pavin letting Spam and, de spam and decide here. Big decision. He's putting it on aggressive. He's going to go for it. Yeah, okay. So that aggressive coaching adjustment will make him fight for yards, but it does increase your fumble chance. Fourth and goal. Big call early. Oh, Henry shook off the first tackle, but couldn't shake off the second rush. And Henry stands tall. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just 
let's check this Amazing out. goal line defense from Henry. Oh, no. Four plays in a row. He holds hey. the door, All and it looks like we're going to go to halftime tied. What a defensive stand. Good. You're good. You're good. You're fine, dude. I thought like Diamond Ottawa was because he does something dumb. You've been playing good D. Yeah, I'm thinking about what but he, so I wasn't he's been having great field position. He's still not too much. I can't, or I won't be able to shoot it. Oh my god. Uh, he was looking for that QB. Second half. He had I mean, the ball. I mean, bro, he can't, bro, he can't run base on us. He literally can't run base on us. Well. Spam and Buttons put together the only drive that really had any momentum and gets zero points on it. It is scoreless with Team Henry getting the ball to start the second half. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker. It was such a good drive, but can't punch in. Remember, Team Henry is up 1-0 in this series right now, so this is do or die for Team Hobbit. They need Spam to come through in the second half. I like you to win. I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. Half time <laughs> in this all important game two. Team Henry has the one nothing lead in the series. Nobody has the lead right now. It is scoreless between Henry and Spam and Buttons in the full month game mode. Townhouse 812, your winner of that 99 overall Reggie Bush item. Oh boy, is that is that item tough, TD? Woo, look at that COD 99, 98 speed. I mean, Reggie Bush is just a weapon. He's been good since the start of the year. Now you give him a 99. This guy's amazing. How about that Adrian Peterson? Dark Soldier 1470. Congratulations. You've got that AP to add to your team. And last but certainly not least, we, we got a prime time out there. Deion the Sanders. Coach. I mean, how about Mob Status 86 is going to take home that Deion Sanders. The, look at all those 99. Are we allowed to put that many 99s on an item? The legit Madden GOAT, a staple of Madden Ultimate Team. You put one step ahead, you put Acrobat on him. This guy is unstoppable. You need him on your defense. Those are your winners, guys. Also, don't forget, we'll have that dump truck at the end of the night. And make sure you vote for the Snickers moment of the year from this MCS 21 season. Go over to the at Madden League Ops Twitter. Check out each of the moments. I mean, there are some fantastic moments out there. Make sure you, 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 you relive what has been, Ty, one of the most unique seasons we've ever had in the Madden Championship Series. But I know the moments this year have not disappointed. Oh, not at all. John Beast were to beat Joke right now, this would be the biggest upset in MCS history. Does John Beast have a miracle left in him? Nick, it all comes down to this final play for a shot in the final eight. Everyone coming! It's Pete! He got us! He has it! Touchdown! Bonus football in a $10,000 game of Madden. Chad, if you don't like this, you don't like John Madden football. Gain it on third down. Oh, he's gonna lurk him with Taylor. Five seconds left. Can John Beast get in the field goal range? No he's way. The field no goal way. Range. He's gonna have a kick. It's gonna be an ice kick to win the game for John. I'm John Beast. That's defense. Oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. It all comes down to this. What an ending. Right hash mark. Ice kick for ten thousand dollars. The Beast. The kick is up. And it is good! John Beast is in the final eight of the Madden 21 Club Championship! The miracle is complete. John Beast has done it. Oh, the legend that is the beast named John TD. I, I, that was. Well, it might be the peak moment. I mean, you guys get to vote for it on Twitter, but that might be the peak moment as we saw a legend being born. Yeah, for me personally, that was my favorite call of the year. I mean, that was amazing. The clutchness from John Beast, the lay down by Joe. I mean, what a moment that was. Guess what? If you like that moment, if you like the beast named John, the, the, the chain king, the man with all the swag, we're going to see him tomorrow night here in the Madden Bowl, our final quarterfinal tomorrow starting at seven o'clock eastern time right here you know where to go you know where to be 
We still got a game to finish up here. Second half action, Team Henry with the ball, the one nothing lead in the best of three series, but it's scoreless in this full mutt game. Henry back to pass, quick throw to the flat. Kamara will be about a yard short. Yeah, a staple of the Madden community this year is these quick throws to the table row side of the backfield. They're very difficult to defend. And if you're Henry now, you've really struggled on offense. It's a surprise. You've got to start to get something going here. you got the momentum off on your side after that goal line stand, but you got to cook something up here. Look at Pavin. You can almost feel the anxiety, the tension. Third and short. Got him. He's looking to take a shot. He's got him. Isaac Bruce on third and short to the crib. Touchdown for Henry. The young phenom Henry. You know time and time again he's going to figure it out. You can box him for a little bit, but you can't box him all game. He'll figure you out, and he does that to start the second half. He press him. I didn't even motion it. I didn't boy has the pressure ramped up. I had to hike it because I was running out of time. For spamming buttons, take a look at this one more time, TD. Wide open, Isaac Bruce. Yeah, the, the good old out and up route. Torches his man to coverage. Man coverage. I mean, he beat him by about five yards. Easy throw to the end zone. I have it, bro. Mm. Yeah, so I don't have time to do both, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Nice seen spamming buttons. I think he's five. Frustration he's starting to rise. He knows that he let an opportunity slip through his fingers before the half. Yeah, you got to see the anxiety starting to build now on Pavin's face. He knows the momentum is on Henry's side, but Spamman throws a nice dot here. It's a little but dot. There's a chance. There's a chance Pavin might not see the field now. Henry, all the momentum on his side. Remember, we are in full ultimate team, so there's no cap restrictions. On, it is bro. expanded rosters. You're going to see the best of the best in the ultimate team game mode. This is what the Madden Club Championship was played on for the first time this year. Second and 12, play action pass. Prescott rolling right. He's got the delay fade. Oh, the route that gives every Madden player headaches is George Kittle with the catch. The route is so good. You see there, Spamman goes to that PA counter goal play. What makes that play so good is that deep crossing route. And then Henry was all over the crossing route, and then he had the delay fade behind it. You can't guard both routes with the user. Excellent play call by Spamman Buttons. Go back to that halfback base. He'll get oh, three. Have that though. That cutback is not. I, I feel like he, he runs that again. Like his guard had to had to block you perfectly. Okay. Had a nice hole there. Look for him to go right back I'm to it. Sure again. Get one. You're starting to see Wesley and Pavin yeah, and Foes and his oh, teammates yeah. start to chime in a little more as it's second half. It's crunch time. He's gonna take a three. Yeah. I'd say you kick three. Yeah. You kick three. You kick three. That's good. That's fine. Henry, you, you put one drive together. It's GDs. Just lost the Allen ups. 55 yard field goal is up. It is good. Spamming buttons is on the board. 7 3 the score. His defense has been solid all game, save for that last drive. Give it up the big play to Isaac Bruce. Yeah, good response there from Spam. You got to think if he was able to punch it in on that four down territory at the goal line, he'd be in complete control right now. But you just heard Pavin tell Spamman watch for those out and ups, the play that Henry just went to. He needs to be aware of those. Those will torch man coverage. into the bunch tight end. And he'll scramble, pick up five with Far. And you saw Henry run right back to it. The out and up to the left side of the bunch was open, but Spamman recognized it. He listened to Pavin. His user was right there to guard it. Team Henry with the 1-0 lead, the best of three, looking for the sweep. Team Pavin and Spamman Buttons looking to force a game three. That dude was going to run Good start for Team Henry. That could have been Bro, that dude just baited Let's get it, bro. He gets more yards on this line if he runs again. Yeah, he's oh, that's good. Good job. Oh, that was hard, though, because if he got a good block, I was going to say he didn't. Yeah. All smiles over on Team Henry's side. It is nothing but tension on Team Pavins.
Good defense. Now it's all about the route bounces. And there's Barb. nobody in the middle. No spy for Barb. He'll get a first down. And we'll go to the fourth quarter. Fours up in the chat. Team Henry on the drive with a four-point lead. Once again, you see the amazing pocket presence from young Henry. Try to go to the out and up route again. He also had a post spamming with a great user, but no spy on the field. Like you said, Henry takes off, picks up the first down. He might You see it now, though, right? He's just going to audible back. Cool run. Second down and nine. Back to the run. It's MJD. Lots of room up the middle. First down and more. And a little swerve. And a little wiggle. And Big Henry's into the end zone. He's gone down, but I don't know. No, no, wait. No, no. Styling and profiling from Henry. Phenomenal stick work. And he's up two possessions now. That's a huge run. I thought you didn't say that. No, no, no. Real. You know why I lose. You know why I lose. I'm not good at this stuff. Bro, I'm just going to. No, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Hmm. So you really don't think going down at the one was the move? Take a look at this one more time. MJD, great blocking, and then forget about it. Yeah, just a little wiggle left to the right. And Nick, I know the chat heard it. Before that play, Pavin said, did you see it? He's going to keep fake hot routing and then audible down to a run. He knows Henry so well, and Henry did exactly that. But but Spamman wasn't you ready for it. can't be better. No, 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 that, that was good, though. Mika hit him out of bounds. That's, that's a good play right there. Spamming buttons needs to score and score quickly. He wants to try that. I'm, I'm perfect. Not a problem. Right bro, if he wants six yards for 20 seconds, Henry, we'll, we'll give him six yards for 20 seconds. Okay, boy. That is not six yards. Right, okay, that, that, that is 10. Sure you know 10. That, that is <laughs> good math from Henry right there. That is great math. Great. 10 great is back not and six. Forth right here. <laughs> great back and forth from Henry and uh, from Henry and Wesley. Oh, I can't shoot. Well, I had that at the beginning. But Wesley makes a good point because it, you know you're okay giving up five yards here, letting that clock turn. You know what I mean? Spamming buttons. This is his offense. This type of situation doesn't suit him well. He wants to no run the ball. So if you're Henry, you're okay giving up these runs here and there as long as that clock keeps moving. Trying to get something going in the passing game. Looking for that crosser again. It hasn't been great for oh, Team Pavin. Sorry. They finally completed one Look, to the 12-yard line. Make him work. Right, you don't have to rush him. You have the clock to stop. Right super stop base, by the way. Is that crazy. is a dot. You're right, Joke. Okay, that dot brought to you by Snickers. He's you too far out. You just need a Snickers. Yeah, slot corner. You're good. Don't rush it, man. It's, the touchdown is so big right here. I do it. Oh, he That's tried pick. to throw That's the playmaker. You pick, heard Henry. spamming buttons say it right away. Okay. I threw a pick. That's a book. That's a book. That's right, book. user? That's absolutely a book. That's and that could have sealed a semifinal spot nah, for Team I Henry. Yeah, just a bad decision by Spam Buns. He's trying to make something happen. He forced it in the red zone. And for me, that, it's just a little bit of an inexperienced play right there. A pass you can't make. I know you're, you know, you want a touchdown right there. It's something you can't throw. And Ty, this is going to be the storyline. We talked about it at the open of the show. We're going to be talking about it tomorrow. We're going to be talking about it tonight. We are going to have on back-to-back -back nights, Clef the God and Pavin not touch the field in a game two, and both of them will not touch the field in the Madden Bowl in a one-on-one -on -one game. It still doesn't make sense to me. If you're Pavin, you're the captain, you're the best player on your team by far. You need to put yourself in this game, and you should even give yourself a chance at that third game. We saw it last night. They didn't put Clef in that game. That was a little bit more diff different because, you know, Prodigy is a great player and he's the captain. But right here, Pavin had to put himself in this spot. And you know he's going to second guess this for a while. And I'm thinking if you don't get the crosser, he can't win. It's literally that simple. Is Deion Jones in the blitz angle? 
Yeah, um, he was. But th he's, this play, moving out, moving out like three more steps. Yeah, not like three more steps. Because he only wants to roll out. Let's just take out the roll out. Perfect. Yeah, block that running back because you go out of bounds. Honestly, bro, he's kicking a field goal if you get a field goal right here. You heard Wesley there, a little coaching, telling him to move his linebacker out even further right there. You see him do it for that blitz angle so that he can't roll out. Tackles. That's big. No, he's not in field goal range. All right, I'm going to spray my D line, just move him over. You need two more yards and you can kick it. And it's 16 and counting their team poverty. You hear them talking about kicking their field goal at first opportunity. They're going to need an onside kick no matter what. That's not going to help. Oh, big defensive sacks. play. Big Ricky sacks. Jackson Ooh. with the sack. Ooh. Yeah, Spamman just didn't have enough on offense. I was very impressed with Spamman's defense, but his offense is a little bit basic. And when you go up against a guy like Henry, like, okay. he's going to be ready for it. Okay. Yes, yes, it he tried to kick I three. I mean, yeah, he did. Split close. <laughs> All right, Henry. Split close. Don't get lazy. Wow. And a mistake from Spam and Buttons. It was the coach's suggestions. Said to go for it. He clicked A quickly. And he's going to be going for it here. I know, right? He, does, he, does he needs a touchdown. He's never ran. Yeah, he, he was in a formation he's never ran before, hit. and that'll do it. Let's go hit. Ty, that, that to me, this last that was, bro, that, about that was slight. four minutes of the game, that was slight, bro. that's all inexperience. 1,000%. You saw it right there. The game on the line, clock ticking against you, you picked the wrong formation. These are mistakes you can't make at the highest level. You're playing for $330,000. That's a tough spot, and that's why if Pavin's in this situation, he probably doesn't make those mistakes, and we have a chance at a game three. So you definitely got to second guess Pavin's Big decision. two O's. Big two O's. Get your brooms out. It's another sweep. Team Henry. Henry put, it, uh, put himself on the field in full month, and he closed it out.